Hello, I'm Susan Welts. I'm the Academic Chair for the Imaging Programs here at Michener. The programs I manage are the Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging Technology Program, the Radiological Technology Program, and also the Ultrasound Program. In addition to being an, the Academic Chair here at Michener, I was also a student here at Michener and uh, a proud alumnus now. And I was also a faculty member here, so I have a lot of experience within the Michener family and I'm really proud of the type of graduates we uh, create by the intensive type of uh, learning that the students do, both didactically in our laboratory and simulation environments, and the strong um, clinical relationships that we have with our clinical partners that extend over to our students and their experiences. It is really uh, an incredible educational experience and I can speak to that from my, my own experience and the experience I hope of the many students that have gone through the programs that I've either been able to teach in or uh, be part of uh, as an academic chair. Hello and welcome to the Nuclear Medicine Program. My name is Ezekiel Ledesma and I am a professor in the Nuclear Medicine Technology Program. Uh, I wear different hats. I'm also the radiation safety officer for uh, the program and the building. And talking about radiation and safety, uh, we use the dosimeter exposures to make sure that every student uh, is within the limits of the radiation uh, levels that are allowed by the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. In fact, the amount of uh, exposure that the students get while they are working uh, or they studying with us are negligible uh, due to the little amounts of radioactivity that we use uh, in our different labs. We're going to move into the radiopharmacy room where we're going to be showing you how do we produce and how do we handle radioactive solutions. Hi, I'm Adam Zalewski and I'm an assistant professor in the nuclear medicine program. Right now, I'm in the radio pharmacy, and the radioactive materials that Ezekiel was mentioning, that's what we need to inject our patients. So we have a few new things here, and I'm gonna show you, when we start our day, we wanna get our radioactive materials ready. So I'm going to be withdrawing a dose. It might look a little bit different, because it is radioactive, so we have lots of lead shielding. So even the syringe looks different, it is surrounded by lead for our protection. And I am behind a lead shield. And our vial is also behind some lead. So after we withdraw our radioactive material, we have it ready to get to our patient. Okay, so I'm standing here. Now I'm wearing a lead vest. We often get radioactivity to us that we can use uh, to create the radioactive drugs that we are using. So this is not radioactive now, but if it was, it would be in this bunker here. And I'd be wearing a lead vest if I was close by. So we have many of these that we can use to practice making radioactivity. Okay, so now that we have our patient dose, it's time to inject our patient. So it is in our lead case here, just like a lot of things when we're using radioactivity. So here at the Missioner, we have our simulation arms to help practice injections before we go to clinical. So first thing I'm going to do is tie the tourniquet on our patient. Next thing, I'm going to prepare the site for our injection. I'm going to get our dose here. I did change the needle for a smaller one for our patient. So going to just inject them here and I withdraw back to see if I have blood even when I'm using this lead syringe shield which is something unique to nuclear medicine. Once I'm sure I'm in the vein I can give our injection here and then I can release the tourniquet. Afterwards I am just using the gauze here and safely putting away my needle. We then tape up our patient and ask them to hold pressure. So after we have injected them with the radioactivity, we can head over and take some pictures. So in nuclear medicine, we don't just inject patients while they're sitting down. Sometimes 
we actually inject them when they're on the treadmill, when they're doing a stress test. So here we also learn about doing ECGs, and it's one of our most popular tests. So we also learn how to take blood pressure and other vital signs. We learn how to use oxygen as well, as you can see here. And sometimes we don't inject our patients with radioactive tracer. Sometimes our patients have to breathe it in. So we can see, for example, the airflow in the lungs. So there's many different ways of making our patients radioactive. Okay, so when we, once the patient is radioactive, uh, we can image our patient using this fantastic technology. This is a gamma camera. It's a hybrid gamma camera because it also has a CT component that we use for localization and attenuation of our images. So our patient is radioactive. He has been injected with radioactivity. Uh, we're going to be taking some images of maybe the heart or the liver or the kidneys, maybe the brain. In this case, we are going to simulate uh, images of the heart. So I will ask the patient to lay down on our bed. It's a very narrow bed, and he's going to be laying down. And I will ask uh, Adam to put your arms above the head. Perfect. And I'm going to... Make sure that the patient is not going to be moving around. This imaging will take about 15 to 20 minutes. And the camera is going to be moving around the patient's chest because we're looking at the heart right now. So it's going to be nice and close to the patient's chest. And we will have fantastic images of the heart once we finish, which we can actually do some processing later on. So right now, he is moving in. And I'm bringing the, the bed into the detector. Okay. Okay, so here we go. It's going to take 15 minutes, sir. Just don't move, keep nice and still. I can bring my detectors nice and close to the patient's chest. And can you turn your head sideways so it will be nice and close to your chest? So we have very good pictures of your heart. And this is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. And the camera is going to be uh, rotating around the patient. 